Get any other thought other than one missed game and winning it well out of your heads right now. Certainly a family club. Uh, we look to develop our own kids. We look to make them uh, enjoy rugby. We try and try and encourage them to come down with their parents. Uh, it's not a club about paying players to play rugby uh, to get a league status. It's about developing rugby in the Garnet Valley, and hopefully that type of uh, development will grow as a club. Uh, so that keeps it within a family spectrum. Okay, boys. Come on Correct set, boys. Obviously. Um, but more than that, the club itself is somewhere that you always, always find people that are ready to back you up. Do you know what I mean? You always have a squad of people there that uh, they care about you in that. So, yeah, it's just touching on it, obviously. It was 591 games I've played for the for the first 15, and there were a few thrown in for the second 15 as well. And I've also played played in Cornwall for a good part of a season, and also in New Zealand for a season. So there's a few more thrown in there. I've been at Garnet Rugby Club for 35 years now, um, so it's a huge part of my life. Um, from the playing point of view as well, but also socially um, and through my work, rugby has been a, been a huge part of my life. In that sense, there are probably too many to, to single out. I would say socially, um, I've got some great friends through the rugby club and we've had a great time socially. So I, I you know, couldn't really pin one down. I would just say the social side and the friends I've met through rugby. Garnock's got this reputation of being a, being a family club and it, and it is very much so. Um, People are always welcome down here, and you're made to be, feel part of the, the Garnock family. Um, so that, that's and it, it stands out. And you speak to anybody that comes to Garnock, that that's their their view on it as well. Being a member of Garnock Rugby Club has been part of something bigger. Um, I've been a member for almost 20 years, and the older guys that brought me through and playing with them, and now playing with some of their some of their boys and try my hardest to kind of bring the young guys through like I was brought through so it goes beyond like an individual's playing career and goes back to the 10, 10 20, 30, 40 years all the other guys that played in these colours and played for the team It's a great way to keep fit and also I don't know what my life would be like if I didn't play rugby every weekend general go for uh, you do what's to do um, you can argue about who's digging the hole I'll just go and dig it well it's a rugby's a sport um, rugby's a better thing than football in my opinion there's more people um, it's not how good or bad a player is how good or bad the officials are there's respect don't get that in lots of other sports and that's a good thing about rugby and Gallant Rugby Club's um, part of that the good days away good, good friends um Travelled the country a wee bit, seen lots of places that we maybe wouldn't often get to. Um. Being part of a big family, it's a huge extended family, it's not just the first, it's the whole club that's great to be part of. To become part of the Garnock family, because it really is a family oriented club, and it's great to be part of that. It's given me massive confidence in all walks of life. So, um, I came into rugby at a time when I really needed it. I didn't know I needed it, but I really needed it. And um, yeah, it's played a massive part in the person I am today in all walks of life. Coming down to Garnet changed my life, and it's been the same for a lot of people. We welcome everyone, we look after them. That ethos of bringing young guys through, looking after them on and off the park um, in different walks of life is something that you're very lucky to have as a club um, and want me to continue.
it's a it's, it's a real family atmosphere from young kids to grandparents. I, a great sense of community with a local town. I, it's just a great wee club. I, I held on my playing career, so I could have won game with my sons, which was over in Butte. I was 40-something and they were 17 and that was a great game. Uh, family, rugby club, um, and the ethos in the club is uh, for the kids and the kids coming through. It's brought me to a rugby club that uh, once my rugby playing days have been over, I've been able to get involved in the coaching. It's a great place to be. It's, it's, it's stupid for people not to come down here and play for us. I mean, it's just a, it's a fantastic place to be. It's gave me the skills that I have to fortunately for me go on and play for Glasgow. I know where I can I can turn to if I'm ever in trouble. And I know people down in Glasgow will help me with it. So that's what we do down here. It's brilliant because you get the opportunity to play with friends and everyone's good mates. And you know everybody. It's not as if you come down and there's people who everyone's friendly to each other and that's the best bit about it. Because you get to you know the older ones, you know the younger ones and it's all just a, a big family pretty much. The Mar final. I don't really have a best memory. I think it's just being around the club with older ones. There was a, a brilliant day when uh, the first team won the season last year, and uh, I came down to watch that, and it was a great turnout. And there was a, a banner and everything, and everyone had a great time. It's just good because you're playing a sport you love, and you're surrounded by your friends, and it's just good camaraderie. So. Just enjoy playing the sport. Off the field, made new friends, learned important life lessons like respect, helping each other out, that sort of stuff. Uh, positive Coaching uh, Scotland um, has come from Positive Coaching Sport, which is a worldwide initiative to try and engage young people to get involved with sport. So it focuses on what young people need in, in terms of role models, um, but it's really about enthusing them. Um, it's very easy to demotivate young people in sport by being overly critical. Positive coaching is a, the opposite. It's about motivating them, how to keep them uh, involved and, and, uh, and playing a sport through their youth and hopefully into their adult, uh, adulthood as well. So Positive Coaching Scotland um, has, been, has been administered by um, the um, Bill McLaren Foundation. Uh, so there are now 30-something accredited clubs. But the idea is exactly that. It's to get young people involved with rugby, to teach them the lessons of rugby, to enthuse them, uh, and hopefully they'll carry this through into their adult life, and they will reciprocate when, when they're adults. Yeah!